pleased you to know that nearly 2.2 million Americans suffer from epilepsy. And locally in West Michigan, the Spectrum Health Medical Group has a team establishing a comprehensive program for both children and adults. Dr. Kos Alasevich is here, and so can you just start by telling us a little bit about this program at Spectrum? Yep, sure can. Um, the um, program consists of uh, uh, a comprehensive review of a patient's history. Many patients present with oftentimes a very long-standing uh, history of epilepsy. Mm -hmm. uh, oftentimes begins in childhood and uh, they carry on um, with uh, treatment by medication and so neurologists uh, or family physicians follow them out and adjust their medications over time. A number of these patients uh, uh, do uh, have an intractable condition, meaning to say that they have breakthrough seizures despite mm -hmm. the fact that they're on medications. And um, they carry on with this uh, sometimes for many years, perhaps longer than they need to. Mm -hmm. And the purpose of uh, an epilepsy center is to investigate this uh, more fully um, in the hopes that we might discover a, a focus uh, within the brain that's responsible for the epilepsy, enough so that we can take it out uh, mm -hmm. surgically. Right. And so uh, the epilepsy center then uh, um, uh, begins a battery of uh, studies uh, on patients. Um, it involves a, a patient being admitted to hospital initially uh, to undergo uh, EEG or electrical recordings from the brain. Mm -hmm. uh, during that time, uh, uh, a patient will have seizures and sometimes we'll be able to pick up uh, uh, information from the recordings even in between seizures mm -hmm. um, okay. and we'll get a sense of uh, essentially where the epilepsy may be. Okay. Doctor, you have such a comprehensive program at Spectrum. Tell us about one of the procedures, brain mapping. What exactly is that and how does it work? Yeah, brain mapping is a procedure in which uh, we uh, uh, attempt to discover various functions within the brain. Uh, and there are two ways of doing that. One in which we implant electrodes uh, within, the, uh, within the head. And of course, the patient comes to the operating room to have that uh, uh, done. Uh, the patient then uh, will uh, go to the epilepsy monitoring unit where uh, they will be hooked up, in effect, mm -hmm. and recorded. Uh, and, but uh, during the time of the recording, they will also undergo stimulation studies. So you can not only pick up information from the electrodes sitting on the brain surface or within the brain, but you can actually introduce electrical signals to those contacts that are within the brain and identify uh, where you may be within, within the brain um, and, for instance, uh, judge where an epileptic focus may be in relationship to the motor strip, which is responsible for movement of a limb mm -hmm. or to the speech center and such. We actually have some surgery video as well you know, yes. featuring you, and it's really interesting because now you're able in surgery to do some things when you're able, able to isolate those areas that may be causing seizures. Are you seeing patients that are having results where they don't have seizures anymore, where it can stop them from happening, yeah. almost curing from the actual of surgery? Epilepsy? Yes. Well, yeah. that's the purpose. Our our uh, hope is that we can uh, eliminate seizures altogether uh, mm -hmm. uh, for an individual. And oftentimes these patients are presenting after 10, 20, 30, 40 years of epilepsy and it makes quite a difference in their lives. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a very restrictive condition. Um, they're not allowed to drive if they have the sort of epilepsy in which they lose consciousness. Um, it's uh, difficult to live socially. Uh, so basically giving someone their life back. Correct, yeah. Uh, and so uh, the whole purpose of this is to try to uh, do that exactly and ultimately then to uh, remove their medications. We don't do that all of a sudden, obviously, after the surgery. Um, but we um, uh, begin tapering it after we're assured that they're not having any further seizures afterwards. And so brain mapping, both in the case of epilepsy and with tumor work, uh, allows you to, um, to uh, proceed in a fashion that's safe for the patient mm -hmm. um, because you know which areas to stay away from. It makes the uh, tumor work uh, under awake conditions uh, very, uh, very much more uh, acceptable from a surgeon's standpoint. Uh, simply because you can uh, identify where it is uh, that you might get the patient into trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, if the tumor f has to be in the, uh, in the language area, uh, we need to optimize the removal of that tumor, but the only way we can do that is to have the patient speaking to us while we're operating. Wow, um, interesting. And in that situation, we know that we're not harming the patient, but at mm -hmm. the same time, removing as much of the tumor as is safely possible. 
Well, wow. You've been designated as a level four and the first one here in West Michigan. Tell us like how that happens to achieve that level and what the difference is between those levels. Um, that uh, partly occurred as a consequence of the transition that, uh, that both uh, Dr. Smith and I made from uh, the Detroit area. We were both uh, actually responsible for the surgical epilepsy center at Henry Ford Hospital and we uh, developed it and worked there for several years. Um, Brian came here before me and, uh, and I joined him subsequently. And um, uh, because of the experience that uh, we've had with several hundred cases uh, of epilepsy, um, it uh, allowed the National Association uh, to uh, designate us uh, a level four. We were not far away, of course, from uh, beginning some fairly intensive work uh, on epilepsy patients, which essentially defines what a level four center is. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, typically, the, the sort of thing that uh, uh, allows one to be uh, categorized as a level four is when you take a patient to the operating room to specifically implant electrodes uh, within the head um, uh, in order to map out where, the, uh, where an epileptic focus may be. Um, obviously with the plan subsequently to take that patient back to the operating room and, uh, and remove that focus once your electrodes have told you where exactly the discharges are coming from. Mm -hmm. Well, we know that you've been in West Michigan for eight months now. We're fortunate to have your talents here at Spectrum Health. Thanks for coming on today and Thank sharing this information. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. Thank you, Rick. This is 8 West.